Hey folks, I wanted to uh, do a really quick video here in response to several questions I've had about the ability to use muriatic acid in an above ground pool because of the concern about the vinyl liner being harmed. Um, you can absolutely use it. The key to using chemicals in an above ground pool or any pool is to not just over concentrate it. And also make sure that you're using uh, the equipment. Make sure the equipment's running while you're doing it so that will help dissipate the chemicals quicker and so they don't pool up in one place. And then the other thing is when you're distributing them, walk around the perimeter of your pool and distribute them around the perimeter of the pool. If for some reason though you do get some acid splashing on the sides of your pool, you should rinse that or flush that out with water, especially the vinyl pool so it doesn't um, you know, cause any burns. Uh, the only caveats to this um, are anytime you use something granular like they have dry acid that you can put in a pool or like a trichlor shock and I've mentioned that before um, you probably want to not use that in a vinyl pool because that stuff falls to the bottom or settles on the bottom and then it can sit there and that concentrated amount can start to uh, react and harm the vinyl liner so I would not use anything granule or solid like that uh, don't drop a chlorine tablet into your vinyl pool and let it sit on the bottom either uh, that's why I suggest the pool floater because then it floats around the top of your pool so yeah and again um, moderation always run your equipment when you're adding the liquid chemicals and don't add too much like with a vinyl pool most of them are you know 20 feet around or 18 feet maybe add a cup at a time wait a couple hours test your chemicals and then if you need a little more then add another you know half a cup or cup and do it that way that way you won't harm your system one other thing to remember understand that when you have a pool you basically have corrosive materials there so regarding it hurting surfaces or equipment uh, chlorine is corrosive so if you have way too much chlorine you're in your pool you're going to have a very highly corrosive uh, environment so you want to keep your pool chlorine levels at an ideal range and not way too high uh, same thing with pH and alkalinity interestingly enough if the pH and alkalinity are really high or if they're really low that creates a higher corrosive environment as well so you want to again keep all those chemical levels in the ideal range and that will do the best that you can to um, make it as less corrosive as possible thanks for watching remember to like and share this video and this channel with your friends if you have any further questions feel free to post them in the underneath the comment section of this video or you can email me at Kenny poolschool at gmail.com and it should show up right there and as always have fun be safe and always 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 watch your kids around water